Emma, an online safety campaigner, and you're watching the Live My Digital video series. Today's topic is privacy and security. This video has been created to help you advise your children on how to stay secure online, as well as offering insights into how they may become victims of security scams. As an online safety campaigner, whilst I'm very much focused on how you can get the most out of digital sharing, my concern in this space is how the information we're sharing online can be used against us should it get into the wrong hands. But my concern isn't just with parents. Sometimes the information our children give away can have an impact on everyone. We've all heard the stories in the news where a family's house has been broken into after the daughter had told everyone on Instagram that they were going on holiday for a week. All the cases where a house got completely trashed after a son told everybody on Facebook that they were having a party and it got gate crashed. Not only do we have to be careful about the information we give away knowingly, we have to be wary of the links that we click on which might lead to viruses, entering credit card information to purchase things which might never appear in the flesh, and keeping an eye on our devices so that no one wanders off with them. It's quite a lot for adults to get their heads around, let alone children. We've paired this video up with a security and privacy video for your child to watch. In that video, we talk about trends we're seeing in the security space, such as hacktivism. Have a quick look at the video if you want to find out more. So how is this affecting young people today? Here are some thoughts from a group of students that I spoke to about it all. I think that parents are really aware, they're just, they don't because they've never had like the experience of growing up with those things. They don't necessarily know how to handle it. I know some people, when their parents say, oh, oh can I see your, like, your Facebook or your Instagram or something, they'll sort of be like, well, no, I don't want you to see my like, Instagram and things like that. And the parent just won't know what to do in that situation. I don't think that adults think that like, their, chil like, their children would be posting every single thing they're doing, because obviously if they haven't grown up with it, they aren't used to everyone sort of posting every single thing they do, so. Yeah, I think it's hard for parents because they just haven't had the experiences that we've had, like we've grown up in a very different generation. Probably by checking your social media, making sure you're not doing anything that could A, hurt someone, or B, someone hurts you, making sure that everything's okay and there's nothing wrong with the account. I think they shouldn't invade your privacy, like, if you want to keep your social media kind of, like, to yourself and your friends, and, like, as long as you know what you should be doing, like, making sure your profile's private and stuff, then they should, like, trust you enough to know that you're not going to be doing anything stupid online. Usually with these things, we learn through trial and error, but there are some basic things that you can advise your children to do to prevent themselves from being victims of cyber crimes. Having a strong password is always going to be key. Adding some numbers, some symbols, capital letters can make a big difference. Make sure your children are well aware of this. Once they're in possession of smartphones, tablets, laptops, etc., it's important to teach them about looking after their tech. I imagine your child is probably starting to experiment with a bit of online shopping, if it isn't already their favorite pastime. To remind them to keep an eye out for the locked padlock and the unbroken symbol in the browser. This should indicate that the connection is secure. And actually, if they're using your credit card to purchase things online, you should probably be sat down with them to do that anyway. You might want to make sure that you have some decent antivirus software and parental controls in place to prevent, detect, and remove any harmful software or content that they might come across. If you and your child have both watched the security and privacy videos and you want to talk to them about it, one way of kicking off a conversation could be by asking, have you come across any online scams lately? I hope you found this information useful. Remember how amazing technology is. We all have the right to enjoy using it safely and responsibly. We've got lots of other fantastic videos that you can click on to find out more about how to be safe online, so do check them out. And if you want to hear more about managing security and privacy issues with your children, please visit our website to read our parental guides in your own time. Thank you for watching.